overall goal is to improve the quality of life for these patients. So after they've had some kind of traumatic injury or some kind of disease, that you can repair, you can repair their body parts using biological grafts rather than sticking some synthetic material into their bodies that could actually grow with the patient and mature with the patient so that they have a better quality of life for a longer period of time. So you can heal different types of defects, so people with cleft palate, for example, who are born with a certain defect, you can get specific shapes and, and fit into there. Or people who have been through traumatic accidents or soldiers who come back from different wars with all these blast injuries, etc. We can try to repair these different types of wounds. And so we try to get patient-specific graphs, which is to say that the shape of the graph as well as the cellular material should be from that should be from that patient. And so to do this, we look at we try to get um, author, we use an image-based approach. So where we use medical imaging, so we can use the CT from the from the hospitals or MRI images from the hospitals. And from that, ex extract the particular shape of interest. So we try to get bone graphs of specific shapes, for example, which we can use, again, for regions within the face or even different lung bones within the body. And then we get stem cells from this patient. So these are adipose-derived stem cells or bone marrow-derived stem cells. So from, with, from within the particular patient, we can get these cells. We can extract them, and we can get these cells. We can direct these cells to become various types of tissues. It could be bone tissue, it could be cartilage tissue, it could be vascular tissue, so like blood vessels, etc. For <coughs> a period of few weeks in culture, we can get these cells, we can direct these cells' growth into functional tissues. And at the end of this cultivation period, you can extract these tissues and then have them ready for reimplantation into the body.